Hi everyone, welcome back to WWJ Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. In this video we are going to do a very simple exercise. The exercise is calculate the trace of a square matrix. Now, if you are not native uh, English speaker, probably this will be a little bit different in your own language. So if you are not sure what it is, it, just go to Google, trace of matrix. And then you can go and search one by one. But if you take a look at the images, you probably can figure out what is it. So basically, the matrix, uh, the trace of a matrix is just the sum of the principal diagonal. And this is what I would like the exercise to do. Just go over the elements in this diagonal and give it back the sum of them. So this is the trace of a matrix. Okay, so when you get some exercise like this the first thing that you kind of have to do is try to draw because if you go straight to your algorithm probably you will stay there for quite some time until you figure out things so just give like a square matrix here let's give a three by three and let's add some indexes Actually, three by three, where I'm still missing something here. One. There you go. Three by three. Two. Okay, so if we give some values, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we need to calculate the sum. So basically, the trace of this matrix would be 15. So 9, 1, 10, 5, 15. So basically, if we have something like this in our algorithm, the result should be 15. Okay, and then you look, hmm, so I know that we basically will have i, so this guy will be i, and then this guy here will be j okay so now that i have i and j here i can even add one arrow to make things a little bit more explicit what should we do so if i need to sum one five and nine maybe i can get the position so the first position is what the first position if you take a look is zero zero the second one, if I come here, is 1, 1, 1, 1. And the third one is, from here, whoops, all the way, 2, 2. So basically here it is 2, 2. Well, so now that we know this, we can create an algorithm that will do the sum for us. So let's go and try to figure out how we can do this. Come back to your IntelliJ. Let's uh, start with mutarray03. And then let's add here. We can start from something. So if we already know how to input the data, well, we can just reuse it. So the difference is it's a square. And I'm going to change here. And let's see if this is working. So we have something to get started. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we have everything working. 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. Okay, so, but if you take a look here, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2. So it should be 1, 4, 7, 2, 5, 8, 3, 6, 9. But we can do this once we start doing the, the exercise. Okay, so mm, now that we can input and we can print the data basically what we have to do is just do something here when we are printing the data so if we can go over everything we just have to figure out how we can actually store that data so we need something that was, is going to hold the sum so basically the sum is going to be a special variable come here and let's create here and 
we can here trace and we can start with zero now if i come back here let's figure out i need to sum only if i equals to j so if you go back here i and j they should be the same so if i is the same as j what do i want to do i want trace to be itself plus who i want trace to be itself plus the value that i have and the multi array position ij wait is there a shortcut for this yes so you don't have to replace trace you can say trace and then itself and you can remove this so let me just press ctrl d and i'll show the difference so this is going to achieve exactly the same thing so it's you are going to say hey trace plus itself plus this one so this is exactly what's happening here so the this line and this line they are exactly the same okay so now that we have this i'm going to remove this one and i'm going to leave it like this or you can just press ctrl slash and then you can leave it uh commented here and all the way to the end south trace is plus trace or since you know how to use printf trace is percentage d comma trace there you go it looks a little bit better so let's see uh, i'm going to have this uh, like here and then i'm going to press ctrl shift f10 okay so position zero zero position zero zero is one position zero one four seven and then two five eight and then three six nine and we have here exactly the same result so we are going by column here and the result is 15 and here the result is also 15. so with this we solved the, the exercise all we had to do was just draw something to understand how the business logic would work and then we applied that into our code so i hope you enjoyed see you in the next video bye bye